doing? It's not more precious than time with your kids, is it? <laughs> Morning. Well, that certainly put. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. Roll, roll, stop. Stop. Well, that one certainly put a cat amongst pigeons, didn't it? That last one. The Hugh Edwards vlog. Uh, thanks a lot for everybody getting involved, by the way. It was. Uh, it was fascinatingly interesting to read, let's say, 96% of the comments. Because 96% of the comments were split completely down the middle, 50-50. Either in complete and utter agreeance with what I was saying, or completely and utterly calling me out, saying how wrong I was. Which I don't have an issue with that in the slightest, I want to come to that later. Let's get across the road first. Come here. The reason why I say 96% was because 4% of the comments were not really worth... Well, they are worth talking about, actually. Uh, a couple of people called me a friend again. Uh, they're the only people who got blocked. Nobody else got blocked. Uh, somebody yesterday, funnily enough, totally disagreed with me, but extremely aggressive in their verbatim with it which was, uh, I've never had that before. That's quite interesting. So much, stop, stop, stop pulling. It was quite interesting that I had to almost call him out on it. Just saying, look, I'm pleased that you're getting involved, which I was. Um, the fact that you disagree with me, I'm absolutely fine with. But the way you're trying to get your point across was very, comes across very aggressive, which almost spoils it to the point of, I was on the verge of going, well, do I block this person or not? And I didn't block him. And a couple of exchanges backwards and forwards was, uh, was proof to me fact that I didn't need to block and I was really pleased that I didn't. And I listened to his, the argument. My argument still stands. I tell you what, you can hear him. He's desperate to get to the field because he loves running around the field. I'll carry this on when he gets to the field, okay? And then we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit more. But uh, if you're still with us, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. I'll see you in a bit. because uh, he goes mental for cats. He just hunts cats. A lot of stray cats in uh, this area. He never caught one yet, but he just gets him into trouble if he runs across the road, so I've got to keep an eye on him. No, it was, um, it was an interesting reaction, to be honest with you. So much so that, um, I don't know if some of you are aware, I don't know if you watch on TV, you might not know. If you watch on a laptop or watch on a mobile, you might see it. That the actual channel, every single channel on YouTube, has what's called a community page. And you can post on the community page. A bit like a Facebook post, you can put a post up there that'll stay there. And I did, uh, I felt the need to do one last Friday, just to explain my reasons a little bit more and the reasons about the vlog. The trouble is then I hooked in the video again. <clears throat> And I think that was uh, an also a mistake because by doing that, people are not going to read because they're just going to see the video and go, Pfft. I'm not even going to read what I had to say. So I reposted it again on Saturday without the video and I got a lot more traction of people watching it and listening. 
and I was quite pleased about that but again there's probably not enough traction for me to think I can leave it there hence the reason why I'm doing this vlog now today uh, just to explain it a little bit more the most interesting thing about it right is what I talked about last Tuesday because it was a week ago what I talked about last Tuesday has actually now come to fruition most probably last Tuesday's news somebody said I've got to give you credit Alan last Tuesday's news is going to be Friday's fish and chip paper and today Tuesday a week later there is absolutely nothing in the news regarding it because basically it had nothing to do with us in my eyes and I still believe it some people who watched the vlog couldn't get past the first initial act, the fact of what had happened. As mentioned, what had happened, completely foolish, completely foolish, completely disloyal, dishonest, um, illicit, should never have happened, massive uh, wrongdoing, mistake, completely foolish. Nothing to do with us, nothing to do with me, not my business to know, nothing. Two hands put on his lead. Come here. Come here, stop. Yeah. What came clearer and what other people could say later, better than I, was the message I was trying to get across, was that they got across perfectly, was how it was actually handled by the mainstream media. I got people accusing me going, how can you're assuming this, you're assuming that. Sometimes though, two plus two does equal four, you know, and it's not always, how do you explain it? Again, it's that, how do you explain it? A lot of people tend to be brainwashed by mainstream media, but I genuinely believe that. And over the last four or five years, I've stopped listening to mainstream media and I've started making my own assumptions of stuff that goes on. This will all come out in the wash, by the way, and you know, further down the line, it could be like, Rick, you are 100% correct, or Rick, you are 100% wrong. I understand that. But as a caring parent in this scenario, let's say, because I feel I'm a, my, my kids are over at the moment, and I'm a caring parent, I like to think, if the scenario had happened and it was affecting my life, the first place I'd have gone to was the police. It wouldn't have been a national newspaper. It wouldn't have been um, the BBC. It would have been the police. That's the first place. Now, they're putting the narrative, yeah, they went to the police. And they never, yeah, but that's their narrative. That's a narrative. That's not saying that's a fact. That's a narrative. The £35,000 for pictures... <laughs> the guy's an intelligent man. Why would you pay £35,000 for pictures when you get it online? Unless it's blackmail. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying there might be two sides to this. You know what I mean? Then the fact, and this is the one that got me, somebody, he was actually the comedian Jonathan Pye. And I know he's a character and he works in it, you know, but he's a very, many a true word he said in comedy. Jonathan Pye said it, he said, look, he said, Rupert Murdoch supplied the UK with a touch paper to light the fuse where the rest of the public can be the grenade and I think that's more worrying and I think that's more concerning than anything else and that's what I disagreed with and that's why I felt sorry Jeez. he's on he's, he's prowling he knows his cats up here and I'd feel sorry for any human being if that was the case if you were put in that position that somebody likes a touch paper where the rest of the UK can then do the dirty work of being the grenade but that's seen past the story. Okay, come here. Go on. Go on. That's looking past the story and that's telling you more about what's happening in the UK than the actual story itself. But that's again, I'm fine with that. And I'm, but what I did like, and this is what I did enjoy, I enjoyed in the comments. If you've not had a look at the comments, please go and take a look. I enjoyed the debate. I thought, I thought the debate was bloody brilliant. And it's not, I'm right, you're wrong. It's I'm listening to both sides, and I'm trying to listen to both sides. And some people brought stuff onto the, uh, the commenting side that I didn't know about. I'm like, oh yeah, if that's the case, then yeah, I agree with you. But that's what's getting lost. 
also in uh, the UK, that's what's getting lost, the, the right to actually be able to uh, debate and freedom of speech without getting told that you're wrong or abuse hurled. And that gave, that gave another insight, most probably to why I'm actually quite proud of this channel, to be honest with you, that I'm able to, that we were able to do that, you know, to talk about that, which was quite nice. So, if you got involved, thank you. Seriously, I just thank you, whether it's, whether you agreed or disagreed, you got involved, and that was the main thing, getting involved. And the stuff I put on the community, I'll leave, the, well, go and take a look on the community if, you, if you're on a mobile or laptop, and you'll see some of the other story behind it more, of how I tried to explain it a little bit more. Look in there. It's not about the Hugh Edwards story anymore, it's about... It goes past that then, it goes on to, it moves on to other things about how we're allowed to talk and we're allowed to do comment and we're allowed to debate. And you know, out of all of this, it wasn't about subscribers. I think I lost more than I gained, but it's not about subscribers. It wasn't about money. I think the video made about maybe 12 quid. Thank you very much for watching it. It was about having an opinion and being able to speak my opinion as you're allowed to speak yours. Because opinions do matter. They do matter. Which is... Uh, keeps the world an interesting place, that's for sure. That's for sure. Right, so moving on from it now. That's it, we're done. After this one, we're done. So, feel free to comment again, no problem at all. Right, well, rightly or wrong. That's, that's, you see, that's an issue. Like, rightly or, it's not rightly or wrong whether you agree or disagree. Because if you disagree, it does not mean that you're wrong. That's, that's the important part. If you disagree to what I say, it does not mean that I think you're wrong. It just means that you disagree. That's fine. Rollo. Come on. Come on, fella. Come on. Choice of words, so good, so appropriate, so needed sometimes in this time of life and this time of where we're at with the whole scenario of what's going on in the world. It's bizarre, really is bizarre. Right, I'm waffling. Um, have a great day, enjoy your day. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one, if you're still around, that is. And we'll... Uh, We'll see you in the future. If you're not subscribed, please consider. Because I don't think it'll be the f I don't think it'll be the last time it kicks off in the chat. And I don't mind that. I generally don't mind that. See you on the next one. Enjoy your day, guys. Alright, all the best. I'm enjoying mine.